What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day number 20. Hold for applause. Eight of Autodesk Fusion. Uh, today, we're working particularly on uh, just a couple of skills. Um, kind of thought it'd be really cool to um, move some big geometry around and manipulate it, kind of pushing the bounds of Fusion, see what I can and can't do. And so what I've done is I've made a brick wall where each of these are individual bricks and they have individual mortar in between them as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get going on that. So rather than doing the whole wall and every little piece, what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna make one brick and then we're gonna repeat some of that uh, geometry. So I'm just gonna approximate the size of a brick um, and we're gonna just go with that and pull that on up till it looks about right. Go ahead and click OK. I'm gonna highlight all of this and under the appearance tab, we're going to find red. I'm going to find a good red. All right. And now let's throw some mortar on there. So I'm going to hit create a new sketch. I'm going to find project because I want to just do the exact same geometry I have here. Click OK. Finish sketch and just extrude this just a little bit. So I'm going to do just three millimeters. But uh, in that extrusion, what I'm going to do is uh, create a new body. What this does is allows me to overlay two different parts uh, or two different bodies that, um, that won't conjoin and make the same thing. So I'm going to do the same thing with the f uh, one side and make more mortar. Um, and so we're going to project that geometry. We're going to do the whole thing though. So I'm going to make sure I get the top and the side. Go ahead and click OK, finish sketch. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and extrude both of this out. Three millimeters, click on new body, click OK and done. So what we got here is we have one brick. Um, what I'm gonna do is um, repeat this model uh, as many times as we'd like. So I'm gonna scroll out a little bit so we can see this better. But under this create tab, you'll find pattern rectangular pattern. This allows us to take something we've made and repeat it in whatever directions we want. So this, this tab right here can actually get a little daunting um, as far as what we can do with it. So I went ahead and highlighted everything and we're going to repeat these bodies. So I clicked on my three bodies that I'm going to repeat. Now I'm going to select on the directions. So I'm going to scroll out way out so we can see what I mean by these directions. So we have, we can go up in the vertical, we can go back, uh, or we can go left and right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pick up because we're gonna build this wall up, and then I'm gonna click uh, in the X direction, that way we can build this wall over. Now in the distance type, when you do this rectangling, we can do spacing, so um, how far we want um, each block to be, or we can go to a total value. Well, I'm gonna click on this spacing tab and we know, um, I'm just going to uh, adjust this to where my two bricks are uh, butted up next to each other. So that looks like it's gonna be negative 33. No, nope, let's try 32. And 31. And let's click OK and see what we got here. So now I have two bricks that are um, side by side. But that's not gonna be enough for me. What I wanna do is not only go in that direction, but also wanna go upwards. So let's click increase our quantities. Let's try that again. And four, five. Oh, it seems I have one missing disappear on me. So I'm gonna hit undo and let's try this again. So pattern, rectangular pattern, bodies, those three bodies and we're going to pick the directions are going to be uh, going upwards and in the X direction as well. Oh, didn't mean to toggle that. Let's do that. There we go. And there we go. Alrighty. Um, now what I'm going to do is just manipulate this just a hair so we can see what's going on here. And we're going to go to spacing and we want them to be in the y direction 33 
Are we happy with that? Yeah, 33 looks about right. And then in the X direction, we're going to do, uh, looks like 65. Nope, let's do 63. Because what I do know is my um, bricks have that three millimeters of mortar between them. And there we go. Now we've got a brick wall. However, uh, the problem is that bricks aren't made like this. They are often offset. So what I'm going to do then is this really, really, um, I would say, worth the pri price of admission, um, uh, as far as my master teacher would say. If we want to select certain geometries, when we select, there are two different ways to select. You can start from the top left and drag down to the right, and that will tr select everything that's in that window completely. Or if we start from the bottom right and drag upwards, that will, anything that is within that boundary will be selected. So what I'm going to do is I want to shift just this middle column. And there we go. I grabbed all of the pieces that were in there. If I tried to do it the other direction, it would only grab some pieces. So I'm going to start from the bottom right, and I'm going to go up, and I want to grab all of the mortar and the bricks. So be very particular in how I do this. Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot. I, I hit the exit. I got to move. The move. So what we're going to do is we're going to move. Um, Let's click on move, modify move, move copy. What I'm going to do is select the bodies that I wish to move. So I'm going to move all those bodies and move all of these medium body, middle ones. There we go. And we're going to move this over just a hair. Click OK and we are done. Sorry guys, took a little trial and error with that one, um, but we're able to move bodies really easily depending on how we pick them. Uh, so a couple things is using rectangular pattern, most people can figure that out. Um, however, when we're using selection tools, the top left to bottom right, or the bottom, left, bottom right to top left, the outside border of those selection tools dotted is everything that is in there or touching there. The solid body is everything that is within those bounds is selected. All right, guys, that'll be it for this video, and I'll see you on the next one.